guys, welcome to Slice, the live show on little things where we do food challenges. I'm Roxy and joining me today is chef and soprano singer, Allison Cambridge. Hey everybody. Thank you Hi. so much for being here. <laughs> well, thank you so much for having me. You're so talented. We're oh. so lucky to have Aww, you. Thank you. And we're bringing it back old school to our original Slice Challenge. I know we mixed it up yesterday, last week with the leftovers, right. but it is $12 that you had to spend at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. And now you get 20 minutes or less in our kitchen to make a signature dish of yours. What are you yes. making? I'm going to make my spicy Caribbean jerk chicken with a broccoli stir fry. Ooh, that sounds yes. good. Allison, if you can, tell me what ingredients that you bought and how much it costs yes. you. Yes, okay. So you're going to get either chicken breasts or chicken thighs, which runs you about $5 a package. Then you have your pre-packaged um, jerk seasoning, which you can get pretty much in any grocery store. It's a combination of allspice, thyme, garlic, ginger, cloves, salt, pepper, red pepper, all sorts of stuff for, to make that savory dish. Then you have sea salt, black pepper, red pepper, apple cider vinegar, um, either olive oil or canola oil, um, a little bit of honey, which we're gonna be adding for some sweetness, and you've got your brown rice there. And all of it came to eleven seventy three a person. So, uh, like, not expensive at all. And we do have a judge in the room. You'll be judged on taste, presentation, and creativity. And joining me today is Skylar from Hello. the food blog at NYC Dining on yes. Instagram. Let's get back to the kitchen and put 20 minutes on the timer. Allison, are you ready? I am ready. Let's, Let's do this. Let's get started with this slice challenge. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the marinade ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump all of this jerk seasoning right here into this bowl. And then we're gonna add our, you can do either canola or olive oil. I think I'm gonna go with the olive oil today, actually. And you're gonna do a half a cup of the olive oil. Then we're gonna do a, here's our apple cider vinegar, and we're gonna do, it's about a quarter cup of the apple cider vinegar. Now, it's a naturally very savory sauce, so the apple cider vinegar adds to the acidity and cuts it a little bit, cuts the savoriness. So we're gonna keep mixing this here. Now, this is a salt-free um, marinade that I have, so we're gonna add some salt to taste. I prefer to get salt-free um, ingredients so that you don't have too salty, not enough salt, you know exactly about how much you want. So I'm gonna eyeball this, and this is sea salt, which tends to be more potent than regular uh, table salt. So I'm not gonna add too much. It's a pretty good consistency here. And then I like to add a little sweet. So some jerk seasonings have actually white sugar or brown sugar in it. If you don't wanna use that and you wanna use honey, this is what you can do. So I add that in there. Really what makes a jerk seasoning so special is that combination of sweet, spice, savory, all in one. The base of um, any jerk is allspice. That's gonna be your main spice. And then the other ones come in about a two to one ratio with allspice being your main. So our next step is we are going to chop up our chicken here. And I have a combination of white and dark meat. We have thighs, we mm. have breasts. I like the combo of dark and light. And we're gonna chop them into about one inch sections. Like this. So that when we do put it in the pan, it will cook evenly. All right. So we've got a nice blend of dark, dark and white meat in here. And then you're just gonna mix it all up like this and make sure all of it is coated. Oh, that, that looks, looks so good. good. Right, look at all of that, yum. So what you're gonna do with the chicken is you're gonna set it aside just to set, you can put it in the refrigerator to help that marinade soak in. Um, and then our next step is we are going to get our rice boiling, because that only takes about 10, 12 minutes. And here we're gonna put our rice in here. Now our water is boiled down a little bit. I don't think we're gonna need all this rice. All right. Cover that up and we reduce this now. We're gonna, now that we have the rice in here boiling, we're gonna reduce it to medium and cover it and let it sit for about 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, now that I have wiped off my hands, we're gonna move to the next step, which is chopping our broccoli. It's an amazing superfood. I can't get enough of broccoli, kale. All right, so we're just gonna set that aside here. Get those flowerettes done. And then we're gonna get our skillet going. 
And then we just place the chicken into the pan. So this is enough for two people, you said? This or is probably more. enough for four people, yeah, to be perfectly like, honest. Eleven ninety three <laughs> each, though. I think that's good for four people. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's great. All right, so we're getting things going here. Mm. Can you that's smell great. that? Oh, I can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's so good. So um, I always I cook the chicken to about three quarters of the way, um, uh, and before I add the broccoli into it. And we're about halfway with the chicken. Because the broccoli, it really only needs to, um, like two to three minutes to get like a nice little crisp on it and to pick up the other flavors mm -hmm. and yeah. Okay, I think it's time to add the broccoli now. Ooh. Get that in there. Have about three and a half oh. minutes. Okay, yep. gorgeous broccoli. I think this is pretty good coloring so far. I think so too. Right? I was just thinking this would be a good Instagram. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good for the gram. Good for the gram. So I'm doing a little kitchen hack here because I couldn't find the lid to uh, this particular this is a great skillet. Hack. We are using one know. of the serving platters, which is going to help seal all that steam and all the juices and everything in that and get that broccoli cooking um, because we're down to two minutes, folks. Oh yeah, just having that cover on helped quite a bit. All right, 30 seconds. I'm gonna send Styler up. It's with about her time to plate. And oh, I write it on here. You do. Okay. Do I go up after? All right. You can go up. Mm -hmm. Oh. And join Allison. And join Allison. In the kitchen. Whoa. All right. So you're gonna be start judging on. Oh, it smells so much better over here too, <laughs> and I didn't think it'd get better. All right, let me plate <laughs> up a little for ya. All right, how is this to start? Is this a good amount to start with? That's a great amount. Put some more broccoli on there for presentation. All right, yes. <laughs> You're gonna be judging on presentation, taste, and creativity. So before ah. you jump in, we'll give the chicken a little time to cool. Let's give it a score of one to 10 based on presentation. Do I have to write it on here? Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> really? I mean. Don't be. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a seven on the presentation. Fair I enough. Mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's the fair. reason it's just like you're in a rush. There's yeah. some stuff on the sides, but like really, what can you do with this? You know, yeah. it's there. It's you not, go. Yeah. Who cares? I, I'm just excited to eat it. Okay. So right. this gonna get a little rice, rice. in here. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Yay. Mm hmm Oh, I like it when the eyes get big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Taste now? Yes, as soon right. as you well, chew. <laughs> no. I'm gonna give it a gorgeous 10. I thought it was so good. Now okay. for creativity. Creativity. Okay. Um, I don't Oh, I have to think. Can I, mean, I get a bite while yeah, I'm eating? Sure. the show. What? Oh, right. oh yeah, she <laughs> saw. Wait, the is the creativity of the dish or of the whole, the, the whole cooking, shebang then? Yes. Okay, I won't eat this first. Let me. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Brad gives you a 10. Mary Frances says, looks good. I'm giving an eight. The reason why, <laughs> okay. obviously, the performance was amazing. It's, it's a classic dish, and you added your flair to right. it. But I okay. think if you were to be too like crazy creative, it right. would have ruined the dish. There you you feel me on that? I feel you. Because why would that. you take away from the classic? You right. added creative spices. You did your own thing with the right. honey. Yep. I thought it was delicious. Thank and you. I think you didn't overkill it. And I think awesome. So it's like a Great. 10 in my book. I give you a 10 for the performance. 10. Oh, that, can you sing? That's not a category, but it was great. Can I have another bite? You can Please. have as many bites as can you I want. Take this and out shall with I me? serve up for you, Miss yes. Roxy? Mm -hmm. I gotta try this. Looks delicious. You'll love it. Okay, let's and get you some rice. While first. I try this dish, I just wanted to thank all you guys for watching the Slice Challenge today on Little Things Live. You can follow Alex yeah. Cambridge and Skyler, who is at NYC Dining on Instagram. And thank you so much. Tune in next week, Tuesday at 5. Thank, thank you. Guys. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>